Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video I really wanted to share with you guys that a couple of people, they were asking that uh, we are having some really good experience in uh, in that particular domain, but we are lacking in terms of automation. We have spent five, six years in this particular company and we understood the domain and then uh, uh, we are doing some, we were doing some really good work with respect to FinTech, e-commerce or any specific domain like mobility services, Uber, Ola, Swiggy, hyper local services, HR, admin, FinTech, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley. These are the companies and we understand the share market, we understand the business, cryptocurrency and all such things. So uh, will uh, this particular domain help me or not in my current company or maybe in my future if I'm going to switch a company? So definitely guys, no doubt about it. And then doesn't matter that if you're not that great in automation, there are a lot of companies who are actually looking for some really good people who are actually good in, in, uh, in the specific domain and who can uh, you know solve the problem of the customer and then the kind of uh, problem that we are going to uh, solve through our product or something and you understand we have that chemistry we have that uh, uh, thinking that okay yes this person can uh, can solve the problem so if the thinking is getting matched definitely we will hire you in that case i'll give you a couple of examples when i was in walmart we were hiring a lot of people from jabong snapdeal Flipkart, Amazon, and some lot of good e-commerce companies were there because they understand e-commerce, how exactly seller management will work, partner management, distributors, vendors, portals, category management, how to maintain the catalog, how exactly e-commerce engine works. So they understand that thing because they are having that mindset. They are also coming from the e-commerce background and and the retail background and we are also coming from in that particular domain. So uh, definitely that frequency matches and we understand the business. So we will prefer, definitely there is a preference in that case. And if you are okay and average in your uh, technical skills, that is also fine. Because that's why like uh, I have seen, this is very closely, people are having some amazing experience in the specific domain and uh, and they were getting hired. Doesn't matter, they are not that great in, in automation or something like that. But yeah, obviously you have to crack your DSL go and other things. I'm not saying that you have to be like, you are like zero in, uh, in your technical skills but still you are able to crack it no but i'm saying that there is a big weightage a big factor uh, to uh, you know to, uh, they consider always with respect to domain now uh, what is the future definitely because uh, there are companies who are always looking for a certain domain experts or sme experts or maybe you can switch your uh, a career also into a product management or business analyst also you can do that or maybe sme experts also you can become in that case because you understand the domain and you understand the business and then you always look for those companies uh, which are specific into that particular domain only. For example, you're working in Swiggy, you can easily work with some other food delivery system or maybe hyper local, uh, you know, apps are there or startups are there. You can easily join the, those companies because your experience matters a lot over here. In fact, when I was in Cisco, uh, we were actually giving the weightage to only those people who are having their experience in the storage domain and the cloud services and the and the virtual devices and the virtual machines and everything because that's why we were hiring a lot of people from VMware, Saskane, HP, EMT Square, these kind of companies were there. And then let's say you're working in JP Morgan, so it will be easy for you to uh, go to like, let's say banks like Bank of America, Deutsche Bank or JP Morgan or Morgan Stanley and these are the you know different banks are available or any healthcare domain specific company because you understand healthcare because in healthcare we know right HL7 codes or HIPAA code and all such things. You are coming from USG, United Health Group, and then uh, joining some other company like Optum or maybe some XYZ. Other startups, they are into healthcare or in US, a startup, they are into healthcare or something like that. Definitely, they will give you the weightage over here. Same thing. That's why you see that okay, a lot of people are jumping from going from Ola to Uber because their business is same. Because they understand, okay, yeah, this person can solve my customer problem. And then the, the kind of product that we are going to deliver or we are working upon, and it will be less effort to, you know, make sure that, okay, it will be less effort for us also to uh, give the KT and then we will make sure, that, okay, yeah, this guy is having the domain and knowledge and then, and then definitely uh, this guy will give you the output in that case and will contribute for that case to distribute uh, the things and then, uh, and then to manage the things and deliver the right product to the customer. I think that's, that mindset is very, very important. So don't be disappointed that you are lacking in your test automation skills or you really don't know about test automation at all. But I'm not saying you should not learn. You have to learn because it's like a feather in a cap. And then if you're learning the domain, obviously you are having this four or five years of experience. And along with that, on top of that, you're having this uh, uh, test automation thing, then I think no one can uh, beat you, no one can uh, reject you. 
uh, to get some really good offers and always target for those companies because you've already spent uh, many years four five six seven ten years sometimes you know in that particular company and to understand the domain let's say healthcare so you look for that particular company also in the market or a uh, worldwide and then uh, definitely they will prefer that in fact uh, when the vp <coughs> or director or ceo of the company they are taking such rounds or in fact in the manager round also that gives a very good weightage because they are not majorly into autom- uh, technical stuff they will not ask uh, technical questions over there most of the time they will be asking they really want to check out okay yeah, this person is having that mindset they understand my business or not so they will give you some some problems some a customer problem that actually they are trying to solve or they are facing and let's see they really want to see your perspective how exactly you are uh, you know you think in that way uh, do you really think in that way do you really understand do you have the market knowledge about that a uh, specific domain or not so can i you can we utilize your expertise to solve our problem that is the value addition that you can be the contributor <coughs> a great contributor for that particular company so don't be disappointed because all the senior people actually especially for those people who are actually having uh, some really good experience in a specific domain couple of people they were asking that uh, from uh, mumbai actually couple of mails i got they were working in jp morgan and then they spent <coughs> seven eight years in jp morgan and then uh, they did not get much opportunities in terms of automation because they could not concentrate on automation that's perfectly fine because they but they are like really damn good in uh, finance and banking so how exactly it works so there are multiple options are available sungard protegen fidelity jp morgan morgan stanley bank of america uh, wells fargo these are the companies they always look for these kind of uh, experts in that case so that is personally my advice you are not like those guys who are actually switching the job in every 4 5 months and 6 months ultimately you will realize that okay if you are changing the job after 5 months or 6 months and then again back to the square but what about your expertise what about your domain knowledge today you are into hr domain and after 6 months you are into a financial domain and after 6 months you are into some different domain what about your product knowledge what about your uh, how exactly you understand the business and then the customer problem have you gone through any uh, critical release processes have you gone through any customer feedback have you gone through any production bugs have you gone through any a uh, critical those regression uh, cycles and that that pressure that have you handled that no because in 6 months you will get to know about the things and by the time you are uh, switching the job that is also a problem there these days anyway that's their opinion and everybody is having their own rights and opinions to uh, justify that but according to me if you have spent good amount of time in a particular company and then you feel that okay no now i have to utilize my domain expertise along with my the technical things that i have definitely i think uh, you should try with that and you will get a weightage on that but i'm not saying only with domain knowledge you will crack interviews no on top of that you have to improve your uh, coding skills or programming skills or test automation if you are into testing or if you are into development also you obviously you have to be good in your data structure algorithms and tools and technologies uh, okay these things that you have to learn otherwise obviously no one can crack it because ultimately end of the day if you are a developer or or qa engineer or automation engineer you have to write the code you have to uh, complete your assignments and everything so that is my personal advice what do you think about it do you really think that okay domain expertise or domain knowledge plays a big role or only technical role matters other than that nothing matters what do you think about it so that's my personal opinion i have seen lot of people in my career a lot of seniors i have seen when i joined hcl now these people are having 20 years of experience and they never learn about automation but they are damn good in their uh, specific domain and they are making money and then very good positions someone became a vp senior vp or at a very good position uh, okay in, a, uh, in different companies i think uh, you should also try for that don't be so disappointed and then you can switch your a uh, career to a uh, uh, you know to the you know maybe a po a level of business analyst or sme experts also you can become in that case so i think uh, this is what i feel about it so what do you think about it put it in the comment section do you really agree with this thing or not or what you think about it any advice you really want to uh, share or your experience you want to share feel free to write in the comment section definitely i'll try to uh, look into it so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you liked it and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all